Praise the Lord and God bless you. Welcome again. We thank God for you being with us for, amen, our midweek Bible study, <clears throat> amen, our conversations. We thank God for all of you who continue to support us and uh, continue to be a blessing to us. And we pray that we are a blessing to you in the name of Jesus. We thank God for you being with us on tonight. Amen. I don't tend to uh, let this video be long. Amen. But we do want to be a blessing through the word of God. I want to look at the book of Acts chapter number 14 and the book of Acts chapter number 17. We just did the book of Acts chapter number 14 in our midday manner. And one thing stood out to me that I think will be a blessing to us to understand uh, the message of the gospel. Uh, in Acts chapter number 14, verse 14 through 17, it says, When the apostles... Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in amongst the people crying out. Now, what was happening, if you watched the video yesterday, because of the works and the miracles that Paul and Barnabas was doing, the people began to worship him as Zeus and Hermes, that they were gods. And they were going to uh, slay animals and offer sacrifices unto Paul and Barnabas and their company. And so uh, Paul said, no. You know, the worst thing you can do is take God's glory. So it got Satan in trouble. Amen. So you have to be careful how people try to honor you and things of that nature because people can and they have a tendency to worship what they see more so than give God glory whom they cannot see. And so um, we thank God that we have the mindset that, amen, uh, we desire for God to be worshiped. Um, so when Paul and Barnabas heard of this, they rent their clothes and they ran to the people and told them, look, we're, we're men just like you. Why are you doing these things? We have like passions just like you and preach unto you that you should turn from vanity or these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven, the earth and the sea and all the things that are therein said in times past. And this is key. He says, who in time past suffered all nations to walk in their ways. When I read this, it kind of brought me back to the scripture in this Acts chapter 17. Uh, Acts chapter 17 uh, is what it brought me back to. But he goes on to say, nevertheless, he left, his left not himself without witness and that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness amen and then in acts chapter number uh, 17 verse 30 and 31 he says and in the times of this ignorance god winked at but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent because he appointed a day in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained whereof he have given assurance unto all men and that he have raised him from the dead. And so we see that Paul was letting them know. Now think about how important this is. He suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Suffered means he tolerated it. He um, he allowed it. So you think about the time in which we're living. Paul was uh, ministering to the Gentiles. He went to the Jews, but Paul was called to minister to the Gentiles. Peter uh, was on the rooftop. God called him to minister to Gentiles. They were the people of the righteousness of God. They were the people that God ordained to carry his righteousness. Don't mean he hated everybody else, but his word would come through. Uh, his righteousness uh, would be shown through how he dealt with the Israelites. There were people in uh, surrounding areas of Africa and everywhere else that were righteous, but salvation came through the Jews and eventually through uh, Jesus Christ. Um, and so God had Jews and then he had Gentiles. But now, uh, and so while he had that, he he gave them grace, if you want to put it that way. He winked at it, as it said. What do you mean wink? He overlooked it. He didn't judge them according to uh, their ignorance he called it an ignorant time according to the ignorance he did not judge them uh, like he judged uh, the people of God who knew better 
And so that was what was going on in that day and time. Uh, but now, now it tells us that he calls everyone to repent. Now he's calling everyone to repent. And so we have to take that as there's no excuse. He said the gospel is going to be preached to all the world. There's no excuse for anybody to not obey the gospel. And if somebody watching and I have the same thought too, what about the people um, that live on a deserted island, the untouched tribes, what are they, the lost tribes, uh, the uncontacted tribes, or the people uh, of African descent on that one island, I think in the Pacific, uh, that won't allow you to step off your boat and they come attack you. Uh, we got to allow God to handle the things that we can't handle. It's not for us to put people in heaven or hell. Paul said, I claim to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Uh, we tend to want to answer every question when all the questions and the answers belong to God. I don't have a specific answer other than to know that uh, all will stand before the judgment seat of Christ to answer for the deeds that he's done in his flesh or done in his body. And so God uh, corners all that. But the requirement is that the gospel of Jesus Christ be preached into all generations. And once it's preached, he that believeth and is baptized shall be damned, or uh, shall be saved, excuse me. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. As is a correction, don't clip it and think I'm wrong. Folk will clip your videos and say, uh, he spoke the truth the first time. Now, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. And so they fall under that. You have to believe in order to be be saved. Uh, and so um, it's just amazing how God operated through uh, wisdom and intellect and understanding so that the people of God can uh, find their way to salvation uh we we uh were people that did not as a people we were people that didn't have a mind uh to serve god but yet god still granted us grace he still granted us forgiveness and so uh it is a time but he said even though he had that mindset now is the time that uh we should come to repentance we should come to repentance. And so uh, he commandeth everyone, all men everywhere to repent. And the thing I like about it too, even during the time where he didn't like our actions, it says he he gave rain, he did good, uh, he gave fruitful seasons, he filled our hearts with food and gladness, treated us, didn't condemn us, didn't kill us, didn't make us struggle and, uh, and all of that, but allowed the rains to fall where it fall and we take it many different ways the rains on the just and the unjust but uh allowed the rains to fall allowed a uh, harvest to be reaped food to fill the tables some kings live lavishly the world went on but yet he still uh was god he still was merciful he still was a father he still was plenteous in mercy and grace and we uh we uh, see the goodness of the Lord and it is the goodness of the Lord that should lead you to repentance and lead you to uh, want to serve him. And so this is a time. And so the call is, this is a time. It don't matter who you are, what nationality, you're not exempt. He said, this is a time where he's calling for all men to repent. And so you have to have a mindset that says, I will uh, uh, seek the forgiveness. I will seek repentance. I will seek uh, the hand of God. And so you have that opportunity right now. That is the call that we put unto you. And that is the call of repentance. That is the call of salvation. That is the call of deliverance. That's the call to walk out of willful ignorance or unwilling ignorance and walk into the knowledge, the virtue, the admonition, the the instruction of the Lord so that he can instruct you in the ways that you should uh, go. And we just love the Lord because of his, uh, his forgiveness and 
his mercy toward us in the name of Jesus. So before he overlooked it, before it said he winked at it. Uh, I don't know. That might be a wink like you get from your mom in church. Yeah, that wink mean if you don't straighten up. You know how it was with uh, you be in the car and your mom and say you're going to get a whipping when you get home. And, uh, you know, if it was bad enough, they would stop the car and get it. But a whipping when you get home offered you a little grace to, to hopefully not get anything. And when you got home, you didn't get that whipping. You were so happy, thought you had gotten off. But how many times your mama knew she didn't give you the whipping? Because you straighten up. And we can avoid the wrath of God. We can avoid, uh, I'm not, you know, we can talk about bad things happening in each other's lives all day long, but eventually there is a day. There's going to be, as it spoke of, a judgment day that he would judge as it is by that man. He would judge the world in righteousness by that man who he hath ordained. Uh, and so, because he is raising from the dead. Uh, and that's coming. Once appointed a man to die, afterwards the judgment is coming. But we have to have a mind to take advantage of God's grace and allow him to work. Amen. God bless you. Like I said, I didn't want to hold you long, but we just want to be a blessing to you through the word of God and through prayer. Praying for all those that are sick and shut in. Praying for my cousin Lewis. Amen. Praying for um, praying for all those that are going through the... Um, going through uh, bereavement, um, all the families that are going through and suffering uh, right now, the, the sick hearts, sick minds, everyone that is going through, we do pray for them. And we pray for you. If you want to repent, amen, all you have to do is tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me of my sins. This ain't a sinner's prayer, but it's a prayer of repentance. Same as John would do. But John's was the initiator. Later on, the baptism, the infilling of the Holy Ghost came. And so it steps, it levels to this, as they say. Um, but repent. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins and all things that I have done. Lord, I want you to save me. I want you to heal me and deliver me. And be sure to say, in the name of Jesus, amen. Get to an apostolic church, meaning a church that is teaching apostolic doctrine. I don't care what the name of the church is, but a church by adjective, apostolic. Amen. According to Acts 2.38, to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you've repented, go be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise and be baptized, calling on the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And keep believing in the Bible, uh, believing, apostolic teaching, church, and God will continue to bless you. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your blessings, your love, your kindness, your tender mercies, everything that you have done. I thank you for your grace, and Lord, your, your temperance, your overlooking, your long-suffering. Lord, help us to be the same way. Now, Lord, I just ask you to bless every heart, soul, and mind on this call. Every family, Lord Jesus, every everyone that uh, is going through the Miller family, Lord Jesus, I ask you to touch everyone that's sick, Lord Jesus, even uh, my cousin Lewis. Lord, lift him up off their bed. Give him strength, restore, renew. Lord Jesus, work a miracle. In his, in his body right now. Now, Lord, I ask you to continue to bless all your people, everyone that's under the sound of my voice, whenever, wherever they may be. Lord Jesus, I ask you to touch their bodies, touch their minds, touch their finances, or whatever they requ or their request. Lord, I ask you to move and do it right now. Lord, I thank you. Now, Lord, bless us. Lord Jesus, work out finance, work out health, work out situations, work out jobs and employment and work and, and utilization Lord Jesus bless us in our intellect bless our memory Lord Jesus all things Lord Jesus we put in your hands Lord I thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and I praise you for the things that you are doing and are going to do Lord Jesus let us continue to be your vessel and give us Lord Jesus the power 
to Lord walk in your love and your power and your authority Lord Jesus and Lord Jesus beckon men to come and be saved Lord I thank you I bless you I praise you it's in Jesus name I pray amen amen God bless you heaven smile upon you is my prayer in Jesus name God bless you